trust in God distinguishes us from the world. Na kuamini Mungu kwetu kunatufanya tuwe tofauti na watu wa ulimwengu. That is what is our distinction. Na hiyo ndio ambayo inafanya tuwe tofauti na watu wengine. That is why we will talk differently. Na ndio tuwazungumza mazungumzo yetu ni tofauti. Because we trust God. Maana tunamwamini Mungu. Even when circumstances are difficult. Hata wakati hali ni ngumu. Like now I know the we all were shocked when they changed the prices of of fuel to where even paraffin you know it changed with about 33 shillings. Wote tulistuka wakati bei ya mafuta bei ya ya pia petroli ilibadilika ikapanda zaidi wote tukastuka. But those who trust the Lord they still know that they somehow God will still be able to take care of us. Lakini wale ambao tunamwamini Mungu tunaamini kwamba Mungu atatujali, atashughulikia hata katika hii hali ngumu ya uchumi. The way to survive is to choose not to lean on your own understanding. Njia ya kuweza kufaulu ni kwamba usitegemee tu akili zako. You trust God. Muamini Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. And remember, na ukumbuke that the scripture says maandiko yanasema as the mountain surrounds jerusalem jinsi milima inazunguka yerusalemu in the same manner vile vile god is committed mungu amejitolea to surround his people kuwazunguka watu wake from now henceforth and forevermore kuanzia sasa hadi milele hata milele hallelujah amen that is a promise in the word of God. Ahadi ambayo tumepewa katika neno la Mungu. And that is why we find in the book of Psalm 121. tunapata katika Zaburi 121. Which can have a way of encouraging us during the challenging time of when you are wondering how would I survive in this economy? Ni Zaburi ambayo inatuhimiza wakati mgumu kama huu wa uchumi ambao unadidimia. And you be able to say Na unaweza ukasema I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Nitainua macho yangu milimani. From whence comes my help? Msaada wangu watoka wapi? Are you listening to church? From where comes my help? Msaada wangu watoka wapi? My help comes from the Lord. Msaada wangu watoka kwa Bwana. Who made heaven and earth? Aliyeziumba bingu na nchi. He will not allow your foot to be moved. Hata ruhusu mguu wako usongezwe. He who keeps you will not slumber. Anayekuchunga hata lala. Behold, tazama. He who keeps Israel, anayedumisha Israeli, shall neither slumber nor sleep. Hata sinzia wala kulala. The Lord is your keeper. Bwana ndio mlinzi wako. Na yeso bado say amen. Amen. The Lord is your keeper. Bwana ni mlinzi wako. Even in this difficult economic time, hata wakati huu mgumu wa uchumi, the Lord is our keeper. Mungu ndiye atatuweka. The Lord is our shield at, at our light hand. Mungu ndiye kivuli chetu mkono wetu mkono wako. The sun will not strike us by day. Jua halitakuchoma mchana. Nor the moon by night. Wala bwana mwezi usiku. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord shall preserve you from what? All evil. Mungu atakuhifadhi na maovu yote. Not from some evil but maovu yote. All evil. Maovu yote. He shall preserve your soul. Atahifadhi nafsi yako. So I'm I'm asking all of us. Kwa hivyo natuuliza kila mmoja wetu. Encourage ourselves. Tujihimize. In the Lord our God. Ndani ya Mungu Bwana wetu. The Lord will preserve. Ya kwamba Mungu atatuhifadhi from all. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming from this time and forevermore. Uondokapo unaporejea, Mungu atakulinda. There's some people who are saying, "Well, I don't think I, you know, I don't want to do with my car because this this fuel now is too much. Watu wengine wanashangaa gari langu nifanyie nini? Sasa bei ya petroli imepanda sana. Let me to this. Lakini wacha nikwambie. The God who gave you that car. Mungu aliyekupatia hilo gari. You be able to keep that car in the road. Atakupatia pesa ya kuweka petroli katika hiyo gari. Did you hear what I say? Umesikia? The God who gave you that car. Mungu aliyekupa hiyo gari. He will help you. Pia vile vile atakusaidia. Keep that car on the road. Ya kwamba utaweka petroli kwa gari lako na uwe barabarani. Because you are a child of promise. Maana wewe ni mtoto wake Mungu. Come your neighbor, I'm a child of promise. Mwambie jirani wewe ni mtoto wa ahadi. Mimi ni mtoto wa ahadi.